This is National Volunteer Week, and April happens to be Earth Month as well. And here is a great opportunity for you. The Clinton Rivershed River Watershed is looking to help collect trash from local parks, green spaces, and other areas along the Clinton River and Lake St. Clair. And somebody who knows all about what they're planning to do is Kaylee Sinati, joining us now, the Director of Education and Sewership for the Clinton River Watershed Council. Thank you, Kaylee, so much for being with us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. So it's volunteer week and you are looking for volunteers. A lot of people may feel like, oh gosh, I don't really know, you know, what they need out of, you know, cleaning up a, a watershed or a river or, you know, around a lake shore. So what, what do they need to know if they want to sign up? So if they want to sign up, they can find all the information they need at our website, crwc.org. And with our weekly clean program, every week we go to a different park or a public space from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And they can just show up. We give them everything they need and we point them in the right direction to go clean up. Fantastic. So anybody can come and help out. And it's, it's nice that you're, you're providing supplies for them as well. What kind of supplies do they get? We've got the trash bags, obviously. We have grabbers and gloves, and we also provide bug spray and hand sanitizer if ah, they'd like it. Especially the bug spray. Oh, yes. <laughs> especially near the water, you know, those little no seams, right? So, oh, yes. how many years have you been doing this now? So, Weekly Clean is actually celebrating its 10th anniversary this year. Fantastic. So this is a special decade celebration. And how much have you pulled from the river, from these areas during that time? So over the course of the last 10 years, we have been tracking the weight of everything that we've pulled out. And so far we are about 97,000 pounds. Wow. So this year we're looking to surpass 100,000. I, you know what, that is incredible. And I have a feeling you're gonna do it. Uh, how many volunteers have participated over the years? So over the years, we have had over 4,000 people participate. A lot of those people are, are repeats. They like to come in and they like to clean up every week with us. And we really, really appreciate them. Hey, they've caught the cleanup bug. I love it. And so what other volunteer opportunities does the Clinton River Watershed provide? So they depend from year to year. This year, we actually have a pollinator garden that's going to be planted in front of our office. So we need volunteers for that. We also have different stewardship opportunities throughout the year. For example, this summer, we're going to be starting back up our trash run program where we send volunteers out in canoes down the river so they can pick up trash directly from the stream bed or the stream banks. I love it. I love it. So what do you recommend volunteers wear for this cleanup? Flip flops, I'm guessing, is a no go. <laughs> <laughs> I recommend closed toed shoes and we pretty much leave it up to volunteers to dress for the weather. We don't go out during thunderstorms or any kind of dangerous inclement weather. So whatever they feel comfortable in is what we would recommend. Great. So would you like people to register in advance or can they just show up? So for our weekly clean program, they can just show up anytime between 10 to noon when we're at the park. They can come up and meet a staff member in the parking lot or if there's a main pavilion and we're distributing supplies from there so they can come and go as they please. So it looks like April 20th, you're going to be at Macomb Corners Park, April 27th, the Waterford River Park, and then May 4th, Hawthorne Park there in Pontiac. On May 11th, Delius Park in Sterling Heights, May 18th, uh, Breeze Park, St. Clair Shores, and then May 25th, Firefighters Park in Troy. So you're really uh, casting the net wide, if you will, for trash in all of these watershed areas. Kaylee Snotty, thank you so much for the Clinton River Watershed Council. People can go to crwc.org for more information. Good luck with the cleanup. Thank you so much.